Cat Williams is speaking out on Jamie Foxx and his mysterious medical condition, and it looks like Cat is very concerned that Jamie is not coming back. So they killed this $20 million guy, but they reached $60 million in benefits. Wow. And they had some people from your city do it. <laughs> wow. I'm saying there, there's the good side and the bad side of, of, of these businesses. And it's been over a month since Jamie Foxx was hospitalized after suffering a serious medical complication. And over these past few weeks, the media has been running wild with speculation about Jamie's health condition. Several of Jamie's celeb friends recently claimed that Jamie is awake and getting better. However, at the same time, multiple outlets reported that Jamie's family is preparing for the worst. But then the story took another turn when Jamie's daughter, Corinne, shared a message on Instagram claiming that Jamie has been out of the hospital for weeks. However, some sources are now speculating that Jamie's account has been hacked because none of this is adding up. Well, it looks like Cat Williams might have an idea about what's going on with Jamie, and he reportedly believes this is just another case of a successful black man being destroyed by Hollywood bosses. So in all of these situations, there's a business involved, and there's real money involved, and somebody's benefiting from this thing that looks like, oh, that just happened. Nah, no way. There is something very bizarre going on with Jamie Foxx because for the past few weeks, the media has been reporting nonstop that he's at death's door. However, Jamie's family is now claiming he's been home for weeks and is fine. To give you a quick recap, on April 12th, news broke that Jamie Foxx was hospitalized in Atlanta after suffering an undisclosed medical complication. And TMZ reported that his condition was extremely serious. It was bad. Bad enough that family members from out of the, outside of Atlanta, there were some in Atlanta, but family members from outside flew in and rushed to the hospital to be by his side. However, that same day, Jamie's daughter Corinne posted a message on her Instagram claiming that her dad was already on his way to recovery. But then about a week later, Corinne deleted this post and the media started reporting that Jamie's condition had worsened. One source told Radar Online that Jamie's condition was touch and go and that he had to be revived. However, Jamie's celeb friends kept sharing different updates despite the family's request for privacy. Days before Radar Online reported that Jamie barely made it and had been resuscitated, Nick Cannon told ET that everything was good and that Jamie was awake and alert. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. He's awake. He's he's uh, and you know they say he's alert, so we love it. All right, that's great. That is good. To that's hear. family. That's family right there. Kevin Hart also talked about Jamie's condition during his recent appearance on Logan Paul's podcast and claimed that Jamie is definitely getting better. But you know, I think the dope thing is that he's getting better in the situation. You know, I don't know the details. Uh, or the exact details as to what's going on. But to my knowledge is there is a, a lot of progression. But then just days later, multiple outlets reported that things are not looking good and that Jamie's family is preparing for the worst. One source who told Radar Online hinted that the reason people close to Jamie are claiming he's fine is because they still don't know what happened to him. And not even the doctors have been able to figure out what caused this sudden emergency. Jamie's people are saying he's doing okay and improving while doctors try to get to the bottom of his problems, the source said, adding he wouldn't be in a hospital this long if he was anything close to okay. But get this, after several news outlets reported that Jamie's family is preparing for the worst, Corinne Fox shared an Instagram story that read, update from the family, sad to see how the media runs wild. My dad has been out of the hospital for weeks recuperating. In fact, he was playing pickleball yesterday. Thanks for everyone's prayers and support. Corinne also added, we have an exciting work announcement coming next week too. But wait, if Jamie's really been out of the hospital for weeks, why didn't the family say something to stop all these crazy narratives? If Jamie is really feeling well enough to play pickleball you're telling us he couldn't share a selfie to show fans he's fine and also exciting work announcement why is jamie even thinking about work right now now look the family deserves privacy and no one is arguing that but let's be real here jamie is a major celebrity and family knew fans and the media would try to figure out what was going on they could have easily stopped all the speculation weeks ago basically none of this is making sense and some fans are even speculating that corinne's account has been hacked am i the only one confused here one fan tweeted you could have told us this week ago, but you were asking for prayers, still wishing him the best. What's also bizarre is the same day Corinne shared the story claiming that Jamie is fine and playing pickleball, Jamie's longtime friend Nia Long tweeted this, my heart is heavy this morning, praying for our brother Jamie Foxx. My love and prayers run deep for you and your loved ones. So why would Nia tweet this if Jamie has been out of the hospital for weeks and is healthy enough to play sports? Well, it looks like Cat Williams might have the answer to this, and he apparently believes
believes that even if Jamie survives, it's not gonna be the same Jamie we all know and love. See, Kat is an industry veteran, and he's always been very outspoken about the evil side of Hollywood. To give you just a few examples, back in 2013, Kat claimed that Hollywood has an agenda for black actors that includes humiliating them and forcing them to wear a dress on TV before they're allowed to progress to the next level of fame. When Kat was asked to comment about Kevin Hart claiming he'll never wear a dress and then appearing on SNL a few years later wearing one, Kat explained that this has been going on in Hollywood for a very long time. Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are gonna say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. <laughs> so now we have Big Mama's house one, two, and three. Yeah. I've never seen Medea in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. <laughs> so now I'm saying, why are we picking on poor little Kevin Hart? Because it was his turn next. Okay. By the way, Dave Chappelle also previously claimed that he was pressured to wear a dress while filming a movie with Martin Lawrence. Like when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them down like, why all these brothers gotta wear a dress? This happened to me. I'm doing a movie with Martin. Yeah. The movie's going good. So I walk in a trailer. I'm like, man, this must be the wrong trailer because there's a dress in here. They come in, it's the writer comes in. I think he's the writer, he's like, Dave, listen, we got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail, so he disguises you as a prostitute. <laughs> and he put this dress on, and it, huh, what, this prostitute? No, nah, I'm not doing that, I don't feel comfortable with that. According to Dave, the producer tried to make him look crazy for even refusing to wear a dress, even though it didn't make sense for the scene for him to wear one. That should have been in the discussion. What? You don't feel comfortable with it. I mean, it's a hilarious bit. All the greats have done it. So, well, if all the greats have done it, it's kind of hacky, right? You're right. So why don't we just not do it? Because I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Oh, come on, Dave. Listen, we, we got it all set up. We're supposed to shoot. Every every minute your waist costs this much money. You know, the pressure comes in. Huh. He said, I'm, nah, I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't even wear no dress to be funny. What am I, Milton Berle? You know, we're going like this. And then finally he's like, ah, and he, he leaves, and then like the director comes, Dave, it really would be great if you wear the dress. What is wrong? What is this, uh, Brokeback Mountain in here? So, <laughs> so then, <laughs> like, wear, the, wear the dress. I don't want to wear the dress. I want to wear this dress. You know what I mean? This is, uh, oh, gosh, this guy's so difficult. They leave. And what's even more disturbing is that according to Kat, if you say no to certain things, the people who control your career can easily take it away from you. It's not uh, necessary for us to store up that hornet's nest unless we intend to get stung a million times. I didn't understand that. They had to sting me a million times. I'm still not gonna join, but I respect it a little more. As Kat explained, the industry bosses will even sometimes go a step further, and if you start exposing their agenda and complaining about it publicly, you could be putting your life in danger. Well, as you can see, I've let it all go for quite uh, some time, and a lot of that is just based upon the fact that I don't really know how to complain because all of the people that I ever looked up to had to go through it too. So I know how much they talked about Martin Luther King and I know what they end up doing to him. I know this same story about Jesus and a few of my uncles. So now I know that if your mouth is really, really big and you try to tell the truth for a living and you like to air people out, Hatred is coming your way. And this is probably why Kat told Larry King that there's nothing positive about being a celebrity because none of the perks that come with fame are worth the price you have to pay for them. Best perk of being a celebrity. There's no perk to be, come on. You get online to the nightclub, you're gonna perform, you gotta go in first. Yeah, none of that's because of celebrity, as you know, <laughs> Mr. King. As for Jamie Foxx, sources close to Cat are saying that he's very sad and upset about his condition. However, he's not surprised in the slightest because he's already seen this same scenario play out with many black celebs in the past. During his recent interview with Carrie Champion, Cat explained how all of this boils down to money and control. And when something seems like a setup, that's because it is. I'm saying that everything that happens in a business that's based off of pretend that seems like a setup is. Kat explained that when a celebrity dies under mysterious circumstances, you can safely assume that someone is benefiting financially from their death. 
in business, nothing is coincidental or you will be hearing who's losing money. In all of these situations, it's only the artist that's losing. Somebody makes big money. When these rappers get killed, not incidental. Somebody made a hundred million dollars and now don't have to talk to that artist or none of their crew, don't have to validate none of their contracts. Now only got to deal with the mama, only got to see her once a year and it's over and the money he goes up and up and up. Kat also implied that when something like this happens to a big celebrity, it means that they did something they were not supposed to do and tried to break free from the people who control them. Whoever Period. made you is who is qualified to break you. That's the end of it. When they bought you and put you on that Fox show, it was because you were going to do this and only this. You'll never do that. As soon as you breach that, they done with you too. Fans are now saying that Cat is making a lot of sense because he's been trying to warn us about this for years. And fans are very worried that Jamie Foxx is not coming back, at least not as the same person he was. I believe Cat 100%. He knows, one fan said. He's been through so much and has been ripped to shreds by everyone. He knows Jamie is in danger. With everything he says, he knows what he's talking about, in my opinion. And another fan added, I believe Cat and I believe Michael Jackson. He said they don't really care about us. But let's hear your thoughts on this. What do you make of all these confusing reports about Jamie's condition. And do you agree with Kat about the industry killing celebs for profit? Comment down below and don't miss out on this next story.